moved the ball and shared it. You know, 17 assists tonight overall. It was really good. And uh, and then the you know the defense I thought was very active. Uh, the way we focused on Lucas, we we know how how uh, you know lethal he could be from behind the three point line. So the, I thought the guys did a good job of chasing him around and just having an awareness for him, making things difficult. And uh, you know we guarded the three point line well. So there were you know again you know a lot a lot of positives tonight. I'd probably say the, the diversity of what we could do with our attack, and you know what I mean by that is just the impact that you know Kamani Lawrence and Jalen Graham could have uh, catching the ball at the elbows, the mid post, and giving us an opportunity to score easier in the paint. You know these guys have to, you know you have to account for them, and uh, you know we had a, I think a 28 to 10 points in the paint advantage at halftime, and. Uh, you know, these guys are making pretty good decisions too. You know, when you get the ball to JG and Kamani, they're 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 pretty good decision makers. And uh, and then you know, Marion has really stepped up. You know, last couple of weeks, and you know, DJ the second half of last game and and this game, Jay was good. But I think it's just what happened, getting more guys that are in a good flow that are that are playing good. And and you know, we got I think we had five guys in doubles tonight. So you always like to see that. Build on Kamani, and do you feel too that? You're talking about Kamani? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy you could really count on. He understands the concepts, you know, defensively. And, you know, overall, I thought just, you know, our activity was excellent. You know, your deflections, and I think we were like 11 to 2 in fast break points in the first half. And that was because of the deflections and, and anticipation and, uh, and being in the right position. And we knew that, you know, we they were shorthanded, you know, with seven guys. I feel for Wayne to have to go into a game knowing that. And so, and having played three games in five days, that's a lot for them. So, you know, we wanted to try and pressure them a little more and to be able to, you know, force them to get back on defense. That was something that we talked about pregame. I, I wish I could say that we found the the secret, you know, magic dust or whatever. But I just think that overall, since Washington State, they re, the guys realize after the Washington game, it starts with defense and how we guard. And so we guarded at Washington State. You know, we guarded against Oregon, and and again, we weren't quite as good defensively on the inside. And as the game got late in the going, they got too many baskets going to the rim and so that wasn't great the last like eight minutes but otherwise I thought we were outstanding at that end of the court and then it's translated into just better movement sharing the ball and more trust on offense. Kind of a quiet first half for Jalen Graham only four points uh, was it kind of a, a point of emphasis at halftime to get more, him more involved on offense to be a little more aggressive? It will be and it, he was in foul trouble he picked up his second foul so he, he had to sit, you know, a number of minutes, and I did, you know, go to him with two. Just I didn't want him sitting the whole half and having to get loose and stuff. So I again for the second half. So we rolled the dice with him going out there with two fouls. But I think that was more to do with it than anything else. But I thought our, you know, our shot selection was good. It just, you know, he wasn't the recipient like some other guys were in the first half. I mean, for us to have 42 points at halftime. That's not how we've really been, you know, through most of the year. So it was good that other guys were were making shots and contributing. Bobby, before this weekend, uh, most of the wins this season have been extremely tight games. How much of a kind of personal breath of fresh air was it for you to not have to sweat out the game being decided in Washington? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 been a good feeling to to because just about every game outside of these two has been you got to coach every possession. So. Um, and again, we're ready to do that if that's what the circumstances present. But it's it's good to get more guys to have a chance to play at the end of the game, having the walk-ons coming in because they work hard and they're a big part of the program as the scholarship players are. So it's always a good feeling when you could feel good about yourself and, and kind of put forth a dominant performance. Everybody good? Thank you. Thank you.